Well, within this day and age, it's very common for people to tell you their preferred pronouns. And uh, sometimes their preferred pronouns doesn't match their biological sex. And so as a Christian, you may be wondering, what do I do in that situation? You know, how do I stand on truth while also being loving? Um, and I think it's really key to look at, well, what's the nature of the relationship? Like there's a huge difference between uh, someone at a restaurant who's taking my order and I, I have no relationship with and is asking me to refer to them by a name or pronoun and my child who I've raised, who I have an intimate relationship with. Those are two very different situations and between those extremes, you have everything in the middle. And so I think most importantly, we wanna say, okay, what is the nature of the relationship? How well do I know this person? Um, Preston Sprinkle sometimes talks about this phrase, pronoun hospitality. Uh, and when I'm meeting a stranger or I'm engaging with a coworker who has no relationship to, uh, to Jesus Christ, I wanna show kindness and pronoun hospitality by just referring to them the way that they've asked to be referred to. It's a way of building a bridge. If we don't build that bridge, we have no relationship with them to have a conversation about who Jesus is or to even show them kindness and love. Now, that's a very different situation than if you're in a close relationship with someone, particularly if they're claiming to be a follower of Jesus. And even then, I think we need to look at the deeper issue of what's really going on. The more we understand about gender dysphoria and the transgender movement, we see that everyone's journey is a little bit different. And there are some people that have really genuine dysphoria around their biological sex. I think we need to ask questions about that and understand where that's coming from before we just make a judgment of what we're gonna call this individual. Walking in these days and times where all of this has become so confusing requires a great level of discernment. And so the first thing that we really want to do as we're wrestling through this is to ask God for help. Ask for the discernment to know, how do I love this person well? How do I be a good and authentic representation of truth? First and foremost, the truth of the love of Jesus Christ and how he transforms us. I think some of that discernment is really being able to tell the difference between the agenda, which I believe as Christians we're meant to oppose. There is male and female, They're, they are distinctive, but how we interact with people, not the agenda. An individual is a person and they may be coming from a great deal of confusion or brokenness. We don't know their story. Every individual has their own story. And so moving into their story, hearing their pain, and remembering that the most important thing I can do in an interaction with a person is to represent Jesus well uh, and to move them towards knowing the love of Jesus Christ. And so uh, my stance against maybe an agenda or what's happening in our culture needs to be very different from how I interact with each individual. Mm -hmm.